Hey everybody, Scott Brown here, Construction Technology Partners out of Kansas City, Missouri. Today I'm gonna to do a, a quick component and product overview of the Hemisphere Grade Metrics Massless Dozer Kit. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the components and how they install on the machine and uh, how that can help benefit your fleet. So I'm gonna start with the VR1000. This is our GNSS receiver as well as our radio all in one unit. This unit installs on the cab top. Uh, we install via mag mount or we also have a weld on plate that can be installed as well. We're working on a quick release bracket to make it where that's removable if you were to get into heavy canopy or, or needed to clear some trees or something like that. This unit's an all-in-one unit. All we have is the one cable that runs to the unit that we have to get down into the machine cab to our display. We have our radio uh, antenna and everything built in. So it's a really nice compact unit. Only adds about three to four inches to the cab top of height. Um, and all contained in one really simple wiring. Uh, so that's our major GNSS component. The other component we have is our Iron One display. It's an eight inch rugged touchscreen display that installs in the cab of the machine, allows the operator to uh, see cut fills and all the real time GNSS activity you're planning on doing. Uh, seeing we got our connections on back. This also has a built in 4G LTE modem. I'm going to talk just a little bit about the wiring and simplicity. So when we come off the VR500, all we really got, we have an extension cable that allows us to go down into our Y cabling. And this is the only thing that we got to get to the monitor in the cab is this and our cabling for our sensors. The only other cable really that we got that's a wiring cable is just a power wire that's nice and long, allows you to run back to the batteries or you can run to a switch, a switch power source. So that takes care of the GNSS portion of it. The sensor portion of it uses these Positol sensors. These are mag mounted, like I said, it was for a, for a quick demo. These have a weld on mount and cover that we use, utilize with them. We install one as a chassis sensor and then the other is a blade sensor. Um, they're connected together using the Turk M12 cables. Uh, very flexible, very rugged, reliable cable, but also very cost effective, affordable cable. Typically the way these get installed is we utilize the Turk cables coming out of the coming out of the cab and we have a bulkhead connector here that we can use to connect our coil cable to go to the blade sensor. Uh, we have we can also run a hard cable if we do we protect that using hydraulic hose. It really just depends on your blade setup of your machine and uh, if we can properly protect the cable and make sure it's going to perform reliably. So as you can see, you can get a really simple, really cost-effective uh, massless dozer setup, indicate dozer setup for any size machine from uh, you know, a, a D4 all the way up to a D8 size machine and, and then larger if necessary. If you have any more questions, uh, leave a comment. You can direct message us or you can get on our website and feel free to reach out. We can schedule a time to talk or a demo. Um, thanks for your time.